Hello and welcome to Artful Pursuits, your source for mixed media art inspiration tutorials and resources. Today we're going to quickly flip through a completed color themed round robin art journal. If you're new to the concept of art journaling, an art journal is a book that an artist keeps as a kind of a mixture of their visual thoughts and ideas. So it combines art with the writing, like a sketchbook and a diary put together. Uh, you can do it in any style, use any media, any techniques, it's all different. So they're all completely unique and there are actually not, not any rules. You can't do it wrong. So you can't art journal wrong, but there are some rules for this round robin type of art journal because it's a collaborative process. So you can see all of these rules on my blog if you're interested, but basically we each start our own journal and then we send it on to the next person in the group who then sends it on to the next person in the group and so on and so forth. Everybody gets a month with the journal and eventually you get your own journal back and it's full of everybody's art. Super cool. It's like the best day ever every month in the mail when you get your new art journal. So uh, I'm about to flip through this completed art journal so you can see what we did. So just before I started to make this journal, I happened to be reading Julie Faye Fan Balzer's blog and I saw this thing that she called Mix and Match Faces. It really inspired me. So the next journal that I created, this one, I used a ruler and I teared all of the pages so that each page showed a portion of the pages that were going to come after it. Then in each page I painted one a base color in rainbow order. So there's a red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple page. And um, having that acrylic layer before they receive the journal kind of forces each artist into creatively determining how they can build on top of that color and still uh, keep the integrity of the page and the challenge and the theme. So here you go. So this is the cover of the book and when I was painting the interior spreads I was scraping color off on the front and the back cover. Obviously people signed the back cover when they were finished and on the front I made it collaborative and asked them all to add an element to it when they were done with their spread. This was my beginning spread. I took the red, I did this kind of loose three quarters uh, portrait lady and it says live a colorful life. And she's supposed to be looking at all of the art that's to come. And when the book came back to me nobody had chosen the orange spread so I did this one too and I used a Dina Wakely um, stencil. This is Leah. She did a yellow um, figure on her page. I think it turned out really cool. Donna did this green textured stenciled page. It's got a quote on it that's hard to read. Tamala did this really cool Zen Tangle butterflies flying through this quote about freeing yourself. And lastly, oh, that's not lastly. Impala did this awesome um, collage portrait lady and this is on the indigo spread which you would never know but she left the stripe of indigo on the edge and then lastly Claire did this purple um, looks bubbly to me and it's got a Bible verse on the left and then like I said we all signed the back of it so that is how the color theme went and how everybody handled the challenge you can read more on the blog about each uh, person's page and you can see photographs of it so you can kind of zoom in and see it a little bit more clearly if you want to. Um, the blog is artfulpursuits.com slash blog. Head on over and sign up for the newsletter so you get notified when new posts go live and like and subscribe to get notifications on future videos. Thanks a lot and have a great day.